What's up guys, how's it going? Today, uh, it's it's more non-China related content, but this is something that I just found out like just a few days ago. I think it's pretty imp it's pretty cool, it's pretty important for people that do a lot of Instagramming. I mean, I'm not a massive Instagram, I Instagram from like here and there, just for, just for fun, basically. But the one thing that really annoys me is sometimes when I'm back on my home computer and I edit a picture, I have to then send it to my phone and use my phone to upload to Instagram. If you go on the desktop version of Instagram, you cannot, like, there's, you just can't upload. Until now, I mean, well, not until now. I say that, this is, it's not like I discovered this by hacking into the code or anything like that. I was told by a colleague of mine, and I went home and tried it out and was like, bam, this is pretty good. I can now upload from my desktop computer straight from, I can edit a picture in Lightroom and just bam, straight onto Instagram, which is exactly what I wanted, especially like, Instagram stories, never get involved with that because it's too much hassle putting videos on my phone. Now, I'm not saying I will, but I might do. Um, I've got the option, it's pretty easy. Anyway, so I thought I would today would show you. And like I said, once again, just to reiterate, this isn't something I've done. So if you look on the internet, I'm pretty sure you will have found that somebody would have already made a video on this. But I'm just doing this because I thought this is a cool thing and I should share it with you guys. And maybe, because there's a lot of people that I spoke to like over the last few days, which also didn't know, I thought maybe there's a whole bunch of other people who don't know as well. So. I thought I would just make this video, show you guys, because it's, you know, it's, it's a cool thing to know. If you already know it, then good for you, you, you you're ahead of the game. Uh, anyway, let me jump into my computer and I will show you how to upload to Instagram directly from your PC. Right, so here we are in Instagram, look, this is the standard desktop view. You can go across here, click on my profile, look, you can see my username, AlexAbsolute14, if you want to go follow me. That would be cracking. I am just a try-hard amateur, not a professional. Um, I do take a great interest in photography, though. Uh, I like to snap pictures, and I, yeah, just have a look. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. No worries. Anyway, let's get on with this. So look, we are here, and this is a standard desktop thing that we cannot upload to. We, by the way, you need to be in. I should have mentioned you need to be in Google Chrome. Okay, Google Chrome is the only way I know to do this. You go up here in the corner, look, and here we can see these three dots in the corner. So we click on this, it brings up this drop down menu, and here you can click on develop tools. Now, if we move this just back across, like here, and you can see all these tabs across the top of the developer tools, and it's kind of squashed our uh, Instagram window over to one side. It kind of looks a bit more like the desktop. Uh, the, so it looks a bit more like the like the film version, right? Now here you can see a whole bunch of things. We only need to focus on this where it says mode, browser profile. Let's go to Windows Phone. And now, after a little refresh look, Shazam. I mean, it is small. You can see it is much smaller. Sometimes it pops out right like at least a third of the screen. Not this time for some reason, who cares? Anyway, now you can see, look, here, there is the plus sign, just like you get on the mobile app. So look, just to show you this, it works. I can now click that and then, you know, go here. Let's search for a JPEG. Right, so I selected my image. I'm just going to choose this cheeky one here of me and my son playing basketball on the machines. And Shazam, look, I can line this up however I like. Next. It doesn't actually give me the option for putting any filters over it. I'm all right with that. I'm okay. So I can write just a quick thing. Playing basketball with Ethan. And then I can go in and I can put all my tags in there if I so wish. I'm not going to because this is just for this. And share. There you go at the bottom, like it says, your photo was posted. So now if I go back, let's change this back to desktop, look. We're gonna get rid of the developer tools. Not sure how we do that. <laughs> Here we go. All right, get rid of the developer tools. Back on Instagram. And there it is. It is uploaded. You can do this to IGTV and Pretty much everything 
on the on there. You can just add stuff to your story. You can add stuff to your profile. It as long as you're in that mode, and as long as you go in back into developer mode and go to Windows Windows Phone, it will let you upload straight from your desktop. Which means, for me personally, I love this because it just means that I can you know edit a video in like a short video in Premiere Pro or edit a picture on my computer in like any of the editing software as I use and bam straight up it goes it's much more convenient that I have to put it to my phone first fuck it right there you go um pretty cool trick right if you didn't know it already uh hit me up in the comments down below you are welcome anyway if you like this video if you want to check out my other content, consider clicking that subscribe button and the bell next to it, of course. And I guess, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.